Hey, what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino. Today we have Rob's 2018 Mustang GT in the shop and it features the Ford Performance Roush 2.65 TVS supercharger on it. Right now Rob is on the factory tune, the tune that comes from Ford and Roush uh, when you buy this supercharger through the dealership. Right now we're going to go ahead and baseline it and see what power it puts down and then we're going to load our custom tune and see what kind of gains we can make. So let's see what it makes. Okay, there you go, 621 and 545 torque. Uh, this is a pretty typical power curve from a Roush car. We've done a few on the dyno here and quite a few remotely, and they all look about the same. So let's take a closer look at it. Um, as you can see, as you first tip into it, uh, the torque is a little bit lower than uh, where it winds up. So it comes, it's down here, and then it kicks up you know, at about 4,500. So tip in may fee feel a little bit weak. And then with, as RPM goes up, you know, it climbs uh, fairly well, uh, but it dumps the power at about 6,200 RPM, and it really uh, comes down, and then the Roush tune only revs up to a uh, factory red line in the 6,800 range. Uh, so what we'll do next is we'll go ahead and uh, load our tune into it and see what it does. Now, to keep in mind, the Coyote engine, specifically the 2018, really all of them, uh, do very well with RPM, uh, and only spinning it to 6,800 is a little bit of a detriment, but obviously the Roush tune has a lot of uh, reasonings they do this, so there's nothing wrong with the Roush tune. It's a, it's a warranty tune. Um, they have certain durability things that they want to, uh, points they want to get to. Uh, basically, they want to give you a tune that's fast and good, but you know, there's zero chance of any issues with your car, so it's very conservative. So we'll go ahead and load our tune on, which is going to change the power curve a little bit and also spin a bunch more RPM. So let's see what it does. Okay, there you go. On the very first pull, we picked up some nice gains. We went from 621 horsepower at uh, 6,100 RPM to 638 at 7,200 RPM. Uh, you know, that's a 17 horsepower increase, and we extended the peak uh, horsepower 1,000 RPM, which is very significant. And we picked up 14 torque. Uh, and peak torque went from 4,700 to 4,900. But there's a lot more information in the graph, and that's one thing that we're gonna do for you guys pretty soon is we're gonna do a tech video on interpreting a dynograph, uh, exactly how to read it, uh, what you're looking for to uh, figure out your shift points, max, ex max acceleration and drag racing and all that. That's gonna be a separate video. But let's take a uh, closer look at this one. So like I said, peak torque is right in that 47 to 4,900 range, which is right in here, which is great. But as you can see, the gap there isn't huge. But over here, where earlier, earlier I said uh, the Roush torque kind of came in late, we were able to improve on that. Um, so right here at say 4,100, before we were making 500 torque, now we're making almost 550. So roughly a 50 uh, foot pounds of torque increase and horsepower, we're almost at 40 horsepower in that spot. Um, and then the lines come together a bit here. Uh, we're picking up uh, pretty good through the 5,000 to 5,500 range. And then up top here, there's another large gain. Uh, if you look here, we went from 550 to 606. So that's a 56 horsepower increase. But one thing we can tell you is the increase at 7,500 because uh, the Roush uh, tune doesn't rev that high. But as you can see, the power's still climbing. Now there is a little bit of roughness in the graph here up top. So we're gonna clean that up and uh, we'll go ahead and see what this next edit makes. OK, 
Okay, another great pull there. Uh, if you look at the peak numbers, we're actually down one horsepower, but that's not very important at this point. And we're up another four foot pounds of torque. Again, that number is not real important on this particular graph. Let's take a closer look on what we did achieve. If you look up here at the top, where the blue line was fairly wavy, um, we went ahead and smoothed that out with some changes to cam timing and, and ignition timing and things like that. So it's a much smoother, cleaner dyno graph. Uh, another thing to uh, remember on a car like this, the uh, Roush supercharger intercooler system is a little bit on the small side for the type of power we're making. They had to make some concessions there due to the direct injection underneath the intake manifold, so the intercooler was made smaller. So we're also, as we make each one of these pulls, we're fighting a little bit of heat soak. At the end, we'll go ahead, let it cool off just a little bit so we have a valid back-to-back -back with the baseline number. But right now, what we're trying to do is make the power curve smooth. So uh, mission accomplished there. We're gonna go ahead and make a couple more edits to this one and show you what it does. Well, we made a few edits there, but more importantly, we also did a cool down and uh, we, we were rewarded with some pretty uh, large gains uh, over the last pull. That pull, we're at 666 horsepower peak and 585 torque. These are all the pulls here together. You can tell uh, the orange line is the new one. It's above uh, every other pull we did by quite a bit. Some of that's the tuning. Well, the gains over the baseline is all tuning because they were both done at about the same temperature. Uh, but the gains over our previous tuning are a couple changes to the tune and also letting it cool off. What I'm going to do here is I'll delete the intermediate runs and just show you the before and after. Okay, so here's the before and after on the uh, included tune with this blower and our custom tune with the N-gauge. As you can see, it's uh, a totally different car. And remember, there's no modifications done to the car, just our tune. So we went from uh, peak only, we went from 621 horsepower to 666 horsepower and went from 6100 uh, as our peak horsepower to 7300. Um, and then on torque we went from 545 to 585, so we're talking uh, 40 foot-pounds and 45 horsepower. Uh, but again, the real answer is in the dyno graph on what we gained uh, truly as far as performance and we'll take a closer look at that like we did earlier. Um, it looks like peak torque gains, not at peak, but the spot in which we gained the most is right here at uh, close to 4,000 RPM. We went from 492 to 579. So that is 87 horsepower, or excuse me, 87 foot-pounds of torque. Horsepower at that same spot went from 376 to 442. So we're talking, uh, what is that? Sorry, my brain's not working today. 60, uh, almost 70 horsepower. So that's a huge amount there. Um, we're gaining everywhere through the curve. I mean, average gains through the middle of the curve. You're still talking, um, let's see, it's a little hard to read. Uh, you know, 30 to 40 horsepower the whole way. And then up here at the spot where we can measure Peak horsepower gains, it went from 551 to 643, um, and that's being actually generous to the other tune. It's actually here where it's 548 and 646, so an, almost 100 horsepower at 6800 RPM. And even more importantly, we rev it out to 7500 RPM where we continue to gain power. Uh, with the 10-speed transmission, RPM is king. RPM is king in general, and again, that's going to be part of the subject of the other video and we're talking when I say RPM is king we're talking about straight out acceleration and performance as far as drivability and the feel of the car that's a lot of the times where torque comes into play but once again we'll go over that in the other video we're gonna wrap this one up please like this video uh, subscribe to our channel share it we're looking to really grow this channel bring you more tech videos more back-to-back -back dyno videos like this and sharing our video and the bigger audience we get makes it easier for us also like us on Facebook we do a lot of stuff on Facebook we have a sweepstakes uh, we're getting ready to announce for 2019 where you can win well over thirty thousand dollars worth of prizes it could be a lot more we're finalizing those now so stay tuned to this channel for the sweepstakes update and we'll be back with another video soon